Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn about Roman numerals. This is one of the learning outcome in class 4 under the number concepts. Let us go into the details of this video. The number system that we are using right now is called as the Hindu Arabic system and we deal with the numerals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. This system was invented in India and carried to other parts of the world by Arabs. That is why it is called as Hindu Arabic system. This is a number system that we are using right now. Now we are going to learn something new called as Roman numerals. In Roman numerals, they deal with seven symbols or numerals. They are I, V, X, L, C, D and M. Let us see how these seven Roman numerals are related to the Hindu Arabic system. These seven numerals are called Roman numerals and their equivalent Hindu Arabic system numerals are these numbers. I corresponds to 1. V corresponds to 5. X corresponds to 10. L corresponds to 15. C corresponds to 100. D corresponds to 500 and M corresponds to 1000. It is very important to have a very good understanding of this relationship between the Roman numerals and Hindu Arabic system. You would have noticed there is no symbol for zero in the Roman system and it does not use place value concepts to write numbers. They just have these seven numerals and there are a set of few rules with which they add and subtract these numerals and form the numbers. Let us see how this is done. In class 4, we will be learning to write numbers from 1 to 39 in Roman numerals. For this, we will be making use of the Roman numerals symbols I, V and X. I means 1, V means 5 and X means 10. The three Roman numeric symbols I, V and X are sufficient to write numbers 1 to 39. For which the rule number 1 is that numerals I and X can be repeated up to 3 times. Repetition means addition. Let us see an example for this. We know that I represents 1. Repeating I another times means addition. 1 plus 1 which is 2. So in Roman numerals 2 is represented by 2 I's. Similarly, we know that X represents 10. So by repeating X again, you will get 10 plus 10 which is 20. So the Roman numeral for 20 will be XX. Rule number 2 is a numeral written after a bigger numeral means addition. So here V is a numeral of bigger value 5. When you write a numeral I of value 1 after 5 it means addition. So 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. So 6 in Roman numerals is represented by a V and a I. Rule number 3 is a numeral written before a numeral of bigger value means subtraction. So in this case here when you write a Roman numeral I before the Roman numeral of bigger value V which is 5 
we will do a subtraction which is 5 minus 1 is 4. So the Roman numeral for 4 is IV. These are just rules and once you start writing them for the numbers, applying these rules, it will become easy. Let us apply these rules and write Roman numerals from 1 to 39. First, let us write the Roman numerals for numbers 1 to 10. We know that I represents 1. For 2, it is I followed by another I which makes 2. For 3, it will be I, I and another I which makes 3. We know that the Roman numeral I can be repeated for a maximum of 3 times. The next Roman numeral that we know is V which represents 5. We will come to 4 by applying the rules. We know that V represents 5. As per the second rule, we know that when we write a Roman numeral, after a Roman numeral of bigger value, it means addition. Since V represents 5, 5 plus 1 will make 6. So VI represents the number 6. As per the rule 3, when you write a Roman numeral, before a Roman numeral of bigger value, it means subtraction. So V has a value of 5 and I has a value of 1. So 5 minus 1, 4. 4 is represented by the Roman numeral IV. Next let us move on to 7. 7 is 5 plus 1 plus 1 which makes 7. So VII represents 7. Next to make the Roman numeral 8 it will be V which has a value of 5 plus 1 6 plus 1 7 plus 1 8. So VIII I, makes 8. So once again we have repeated the Roman numeral I three times. Let us move on to the next Roman numeral that we have learned. We know that X represents 10 and for 9 how do you make 9? When you put a Roman numeral 1 before a Roman numeral of higher value 10, it will be 10 minus 1, 9. So 9 is represented by a IX in Roman numeral. It is very important for the children to know these Roman numerals from 1 to 10 by heart because this forms the basis or the foundation to build the remaining numbers in Roman numerals. Now that we have learned how to write the Roman numerals from 1 to 10, let us write the Roman numerals for numbers 11 to 20. We know that X represents 10 and I represents 1. So 11 will be 10 plus 1, 11. So X, I makes 11. For 12 it will be 10 plus 1 plus 1 which is 12. X followed by I and another I makes 12. For 13 it will be 10 plus I which is 1, 11. Another I which makes 12 and another I which makes 13. So X, I, I, I represents 13. Next for 14, we know that 10 plus 4 makes 14. IV stands for 4. So 10 plus 4 makes 14. Next for 15, it is 10 plus 5. 5 is represented by V. So XV represents 15. Next for 16, it will be 10 plus 6. So VI represents 6, so 10 plus 6 makes 16. XVI represents 16. Next for 17, it will be X, 
followed by 7. So 10 plus 7 makes 17. We know that VII stands for 7. So 10 plus 7 makes 17. So this is the reason I told you viewers that we should know the Roman numerals from 1 to 10 thoroughly which will make writing the Roman numerals for bigger numbers easier. Now let us move on to 18. 10 plus 8 will make 18. X, V, I, I, I represents 18. For 19 it is 10 plus 9. We know that I, X represents 9. So 10 plus 9 makes 19. X, I, X represents 19. For 20 it will be X, X. We know that the Roman numeral X can be repeated to a maximum of 3 times. So here we are repeating it for 2 times. So 10 plus 20 makes 20. Now that we have learned the rules, let us do this quickly to write the Roman numerals from 21 to 30. We know that XX stands for 20. So 21 is 20 plus 1. XXI stands for 21. For 22 it will be 20 plus 2. For 23 it will be 20 plus 3. For 24 it will be 20 plus 4. For 25 it will be 20 plus 5. For 26 it will be 20 plus 6. For 27 it will be 20 followed by 7. For 28 it will be 20 followed by 8. For 29 it will be 20 followed by 9. For 30 it will be x x and another x that is 10 plus 10 plus 10 which makes 30. Hope you remember the rule that we saw in the beginning of the video that the Roman numeral x can be repeated for a maximum of 3 times and this represents 30. Next we will be writing the Roman numerals for numbers 31 to 40. Before that dear viewers if you like the content of my video please do click the subscribe button as it definitely adds value to my channel. Do not forget to tap on the bell button and choose the all option to get regular notifications of all updates that I make in my channel. Now let us write the Roman numerals for numbers 31 to 40. We know that XXX represents 30. So 31 is 30 plus 1. 32 is 30 plus 2. 33 is 30 plus 3. 34 is 30 plus 4. 35 is 30 plus 5. 36 is 30 plus 6. 37 is 30 plus 7. 38 is 30 plus 8. 39 is 30 plus 9. And 40 is represented by a new number. Let us see that now. In the beginning of this video, we saw that the alphabet L represents the number 50. Remember this. For writing 40, you will add a X before L which is 50 minus 10 which will make 40. So XL represents 40. Now let us do some activities to test our understanding. Here I have given the number 4. You will have to choose the correct Roman numeral for number 4. Which is the correct answer? IV represents 4 which is the correct answer. Next for number 9. Which is the correct answer? Yes. IX represents 9. Choose the correct Roman numeral for 36. Which is the correct answer? XXX 30 plus 6. 36. And this represents the correct answer. The correct Roman numeral for 24 is this one. XX plus 4. The next activity is write the Roman numeral for 39. The answer is XXXIX. What does this Roman numeral represent? It is 17. 10 plus 7, 17. Write the Roman numeral for 8. V, I, I, I. And the last question is, XXV represents the number 25. 
Thank you. See you again.